The enemy surprised us with a massive infantry attack towards the village of Solkevshina. Thankfully, they apparently didn't expect that we had tanks in the area. The tanks cut through the enemy ranks like a sharp knife through a sausage. We heard that the enemy is attacking all along the line. This is a major offensive and we feared that a few tanks wouldn't be enough to stop it. Hello there and welcome to the second episode of our Typhoon Rising campaign in Gravity Team Tactics Mio's Front. If you remember last time, you know that we have defeated three enemy battle groups down here in the south who were trying to attack Zolkovshina here and to take this village. Now I have advanced the situation to the next turn and this is what's happening. So this is the briefing. Combat mission. With forces of the 150th tank brigade, that's us. Delay the attacking enemy, uh, no, delay the attack on Kolkovka by the enemy. Screen the retreat of the infantry units of the 283rd Rifle Division, withdrawing in the northeast direction. So what's basically happening is that our allied units, the 856th Rifle Regiment, they are getting out of the area. And we, we are supposed to be the rear guard. We are supposed to screen them from the enemy advance. That will not be easy. Definitely not. So historically this is how it was set up. The 150th tank regiment uh, was set up in Zolkovshina and they tried to resist the German advance, while the 150th motor rifle battalion was stationed in Koklovka, setting up defenses there. My situation looks a bit different, as you can see. The infantry units of the motor rifle battalion, they are a bit scattered all around and my tanks are down here in the south. Now, more enemies have entered the battlefield and I don't know what they will try to do. Will they try to immediately go up this road towards Koklovka or will they once again try to attack Zolkovshina? I think I will need to stretch out my forces a little bit. So the T-50s I will send up to here. I hope they make it in time. And I will just hope that the friendlies get out of the way before the enemies can catch up to them. Because remember, one objective of this campaign is to preserve the force strength of these allies. Over here, I think I would leave it as it is. This infantry will advance in this direction where they will hopefully be able to occupy a position. Although saying that, looking at where they are right now, near the road, if I bring them down here, they might, mm, they might not make it in time and will be terribly exposed. So I guess I'll send them here. Ah, this is, it's not good. This is like the worst of both worlds, but at least these two units will have each other as support. And with a bit of luck, the T-50s will make it up to here. The T-34s I think I will leave in the village for now. I think the enemy will try once again to capture it. These units, these infantry units, they recovered a little bit. But still, I do not have much faith in them and their capabilities. Hmm. And I cannot very well move them north. Maybe I can give them a move order to this position here. If this artillery unit should pull out, then this unit can get a little bit closer to the friendly units in the north. Yeah. Other... Hmm. No. They will stay where they are. The tanks might occupy this position. Which would actually not be bad. Okay, the repair units, I kind of need you guys close to the tanks, but then again, at some point the tanks will have to move away. Never mind, we leave it as is for now. Headquarters unit, they will move closer. And that's it. Let's see what happens and if I maybe made a big mistake here.
Oh. I am so damn lucky in this campaign so far. No, I really am. This is incredibly lucky. Because only two enemy battle groups, of course, two fresh enemy battle groups, will be attacking towards my positions. And look what we have. We have our T-34s here, we have some allies with their guns, and my, well, I won't say trusty infantry. Let's just say my infantry. Okay, I think we can win this battle. Let's fight it. And if we win it, these units won't have the capability to advance towards my tank unit here. Hmm. Pretty neat. Let's go to the battlefield. We are ready to go. I have deployed my units mostly in the village and the enemy will be deploying here. I have a few mortar barrages that will hit them and hopefully do some damage. The AI has deployed quite far forward once again. If we look at the map, we see their intention is to push into this area, but the enemy's intention will be to push towards the village. So that should prove to be interesting. One problem that we will have in this battle, and you will see it in a moment, is that there is heavy fog, according to the weather forecast, which will lift a little bit and become light fog later on. But for now, that's not good. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, that's some terrible visibility. This is really terrible. Oh, units will be running into each other at such close range. It will be very bloody. Yeah. The AI will go on the attack. Or basically is already doing it. Ay ay ay. Oh no. Not not good. I'm gonna be honest, this is not good. My tank's effectiveness will be a bit diminished, although I do not know what the enemy is bringing to the fight. Maybe they uh, learned from their mistake in the previous battle and have brought some big and heavy guns to deal with my tanks. In that case, a bit of heavy fog might help. Objective changed. Yeah, AI is attacking. Good. I need to support them. Less good. I would love to wait until the enemy has committed a bit of his force so that I know what I'm dealing with. Ah, there comes the artillery strike. Good. I hope that does something. I don't have a lot of mortar shells for this battery. Not at all. Okay, my forward observer here, I think he can move out. Uh, get into your truck. You are going away. Just hurry up. I'll drive you out of here. Before the enemy decides to hit the cemetery with an artillery strike. Speaking of artillery, I hear artillery in the distance. Faint sound of cannons. Okay, my next mortar strike is landing. We see it here. Once again, I hope that this does some damage to the enemies. That we're actually catching some of them here in this area. Out in the open. One hundred twenty millimeter mortars make quite a big boom. Really nice. Okay. You guys are all sitting in your truck. I want you guys to drive up to here. Wait a moment. Road single column. There you go. Get out of there. At the same time, I will have to support the friendly units, so let's get my men ready. 
Here I have two of my tanks together with some infantry. Let's get you two together onto one tank. Does that work? How many men can I sit on one T-34? We'll test it right now. I suspect it will be a quite surprising amount of men. So this is 11 men. Can I fit 11 men on one T-34? I think I can. Amazing. I might even have room for one more. But yeah, that was 11 men on one tank. Good. Then let's take... Well, you two. I won't fit you two on one tank. That will not work. Okay, these eight men. You will get onto the tank. Yep, they're doing it. These guys and the leader, they are gonna travel with the truck. I think... Due to the muddy grounds, the bad weather, it will in this campaign be challenging to keep the stamina of your units up. Ah, contact. So moving them with vehicles around the battlefield will be more important than in many other campaigns. Enemy infantry. Okay, so far on the infantry. And yeah, here on this side we have quite a large force with us that is suppressing them. Do I get my tanks ready? Do I get them involved right now? Difficult decision. I think I should. If they support this attack right now, then we can maybe break the enemy before he has any chance to form up properly. Drive up there and make a mess. That's a lot of enemies. Oh, oh. Okay, these two tanks. Where are you stationed? Where did I put you? Here. Yeah, drive up here. We have to do it. We have to support the friendlies. There's no way around that. Okay, we have one soldier here who, for some reason, does not want to get into this truck. Get over there. Maybe he was too far away from it. Captives taken. That was fast. Okay, so yes, putting the enemy under some serious pressure might be just a trick here. Although, it looks like the enemy might have mortars. We'll have to see. So far, I don't see any big guns shooting. That gives me confidence that my tanks can deal with the situation. The question now is, do I bring in my infantry as well, or do I... Oh! One unit is retreating over here. Hmm. More units are retreating. Okay, the right flank is not looking good. What did you guys run into? Looks like normal infantry basically, but... Wow. The right flank is breaking. Hmm. If I bring my infantry into this forest, they should be able to make a stand there. Yeah. They should. They should and they will are two different things. Oh god. Okay. Everybody. Where are your trucks? All the way over there. Let's bring these trucks closer to you. So that you can mount up. I will have to move you. Tanks are still moving up. Some heavy weapon has been spotted. 
not quite sure what it is. Oh, the enemy is offering a ceasefire already? Am I going up against just infantry? If yes, then I have to take this opportunity and crush them. More men retreating. Now the left flank is affected. I need to get a move on with these guys. Mount up. These tanks. You will go fast. And this truck. Just drive it up the road. Oh my god. It looks like the friendlies called in a bunch of artillery or they have a whole mortar battery standing around somewhere. Doesn't look like they have a whole mortar battery sitting around in the area. So I guess they have a forward observer who called down a whole rain of artillery on the enemies. That helped. Okay. Over here the situation is not looking great. I have to intervene here. The tanks need to be sent over there. This unit. Go there. And let's hope that the enemy doesn't have guns who will shoot me in the side. More captives taken. They have what I think are anti-tank rifles. That guy over there. That heavy weapon that must be an anti-tank rifle. And they did have mortars. Those, I guess those were the ones that did all the damage on the right flank, that inflicted all this panic. Good, if we can get rid of those, all the better. Yeah, the enemy machine guns in the open, they are slaughtering this friendly infantry. The tanks are really needed right now. Thankfully the ground doesn't seem to be as soft as in the previous turn because it has stopped raining. So the tanks are advancing at a nice speed here. Oh my god, flamethrowers! Oh, that's going on! The enemy has flamethrowers and they are messing up the morale of this infantry. Uh, which is not surprising at all. Okay, tanks move up. Yeah, you already opened fire on the enemies. Move up and support this infantry. Where are the other tanks? Uh, you guys, I need you guys to be a bit closer. Uh, try to plug this gap here. Captives taken. The enemy is starting to surrender. I am surprised. Morale is quite low on both sides. Look at this. Okay, there is a slight rise in the terrain, so the enemies behind this rise cannot be seen by the tank. Yeah, I most definitely need to bring an infantry over here. Okay, these two trucks, they did arrive. So this unit... Uh, everybody get in the trucks. Hurry up. I need to transfer you into this forest, so that you can stabilize the right flank here. These tanks... More captives taken. Good signs. The enemies, yeah, their forest is on fire and they are starting to surrender. More artillery keeps smashing down on them. To be honest, it looks a bit like we are using incendiary ammunition for the artillery. This battle is fire. There's a lot of stuff burning. Okay, somebody is retreating. Right flank again. Yeah, we definitely need to stabilize this with our own infantry. Let's have a quick look from the perspective of the tank. 
actually get the tank up here. My god, there's still a lot of enemy infantry inside that forest. Are you guys inside the trucks? Hurry up, please. One... No, more than one guy is still missing. Who the hell are you and why are you not... Nah, you. You belong to this unit. Please get to your truck. Come on. Get to the truck so that you can sit in it. The truck, by the way, can... Stop moving, for crying out loud. I need to get you guys over to that side. Over here, the tanks are on their way. Uh, this infantry, I might deploy them directly into the forest. And have the tanks support from close range. So let's actually do that. Are there roads? Um, nah, not really. But let's have these guys drive up as close as we can to there and the truck. There's this road here that he might be able to follow. But going that close with a truck is not a great idea. So let's have the truck stop here. The more artillery keeps smashing the enemies. This is winning the battle right now. Whole bunch of artillery smashing them. Good, 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 good. I like where this is going. And my tanks are participating as well. These two tanks here, in fact, they are free to engage. However, they are already quite low on ammunition, so I will have them order to conserve their ammo. And they will start to advance in the middle here. You tank, um, come closer. There we go. Did that soldier arrive so that we can get our infantry moving? Mount up, get in the truck. Oh, that truck is full. That's why you didn't get in. Well, go to the other truck then. I'm sure there's still a place for you, right? Right, there is. Good. Please hurry up. Okay. Tanks are doing a wonderful job. They will start to smash up the enemies. And my reinforcements, they are on the way. Oh, there's a hill here. Okay. So the enemy actually cannot see us here in this position. Which is good. In that case, tanks... I want you to go over here, you as well. You will go that way, stay behind the hill, and then drive up to this forest where you can unload the infantry into the tree line, basically. That's the goal right now. That's what we'll do truck, he might be able to do something similar. Go there, and then drive up to the tree line. This will deliver a bunch of fresh and rested infantry directly into the enemy's lap. Um, no, that sounds wrong. Into the enemy's flank. So, that sounds better. Okay, that's what we'll do. Ah, they still have a lot of guys over here, but they had a lot of losses. And we have taken more captives. More enemies are surrendering. That 
will become worse for the enemy once my infantry arrives. Okay, everybody mounted up? Yes, good. Okay, the trucks. I want these trucks to drive to... Where can I get you? Drive as close as you can, basically. Stay on the roads as much as you can and hurry up. Did the truck get stuck? I hope not. It kind of looks like it though. <laughs> Keep driving. Ah, there you go. Yeah, the ground is a bit muddy, I guess. Yeah, it is. Definitely a lot of mud. A lot of areas where no vehicle should get into. So this truck will not have an easy time off-road here. He might be overwhelmed by the terrain. But the tanks, on the other hand, they do not have such problems. Look at them go. This is awesome. This really is awesome. Okay, they're getting off. That means they have spotted enemies. This tank. Disembark as well. Both tanks are free to open up. I guess their ammunition situation is not good, so... Conserve ammo. The truck is still trying to find a way. But you know what? At this point it will take way too long. So everybody get out. I'll march you to the edge of the forest. This infantry unit, yeah, that's still, that was still turned on. Okay, infantry unit. Assemble in attack formation inside this forest here. Not run. Executed partially, I did not have enough command points. Okay. Let's see, once again. You will go in the line, double line, and just get in the forest for now. March over there. You are free to engage if you see enemies. Is there a little pathway here that my tanks might use? Yes. Okay, so I can have the tanks follow them closely through the forest. I guess the terrain is not too bad, right? No, for the tanks it's not. The tanks can deal with it. Okay, both tanks then. Get over here. You will... Let's see... Let's give them a march order and see if it works. If this is recognized as a road. I doubt it, but we'll see. These trucks, they are still on their way. As I said, yes, it does take a bit for the units to arrive, but I'd rather have well-rested units a little bit later than completely tired and exhausted units sooner. Okay, this tank, you need to turn, buddy. You need to turn towards these guys in case they should come over the hill. Here the situation looks pretty calm already. So I think we can drive these two tanks closer to the forest. Let's do that. You go there. And you go there. Drive closer and 
hit them more. But yes, the tanks do recognize this apparently as a road. So I can drive them up here in support of my infantry. The forest is still on fire in a lot of places, so I have to be a bit careful with that. Also, as you see, the units, they are so fresh. These basically recruits. That's not good. Contact left flank. I hope those are just stragglers, maybe enemies that are running away. In that case, the unit over here should be able to deal with them. But this forest has been completely obliterated. Incendiary rounds. There, there is a lot of fire burning. That's not good. For my infantry, that is. It wouldn't be good to move them in there, to be honest. Um, oh, did I send a truck in here? My bad. Didn't want to do that. Uh, truck. Get back behind that hill. That's a better place for you. Okay, the infantry on the other hand. And just the infantry, not the truck, please. Do I move you into the forest? There's a bunch of trucks here. I could check the area around them. Make sure that there's nothing left over here. Yeah, let's do that sweep. That sounds like a pretty good idea. We'll just sweep in this direction for a moment before we swing around all this fire and go into the enemy's rear. The tanks for now are safe because we have friendly infantry around them. Okay, trucks still coming. I think in this battle I lost a lot of friendly troops, which is definitely not good. I'm telling you, the real challenge of this campaign will be to achieve this objective that um, I keep 70% of my allied force alive. I don't know how, I wa how I'm gonna do that if they keep attacking the enemy. This forest looks terrible. Oh, here they have trucks. A machine gunner. Not having a great day. More trucks. So once again we are capturing a whole bunch of trucks. Hmm. Good. What's going on here? Recon infantry, I think. They are fighting... Or are they retreating right now? No, they are fighting somebody. Oh, you're shooting it, dude. Who are you shooting at now? Interesting. Yeah, these recon guys, they are quite well suited for fighting in forests. They will mess up the Germans here, I'm sure of that. Especially if my tanks keep supporting them. Oh, yeah, my infantry found a lot of bad guys. Okay. I can advance my tanks up the road. Let's do that, maybe they can help out a bit. This infantry. Once again, not the truck. Oh, the enemy has a mortar here. Yep, that's a mortar. In that case, attack in this direction, but disperse. No particular formation. They will mortar me to death if I don't take this thing out somehow. 
more captives taken. Yeah, the enemy's opposition is starting to crumble. Over here, this infantry has not yet arrived. They are, however, close. I wish that it would be possible to set up an alarm, you know? Set up an alarm so when this infantry unit arrives at their destination, play a little chime or display a message. So that I know, okay, something has happened that I wanted to happen, I need to do something else now. Damn, they have a lot of mortars. And still a lot of men. Portion. Maybe that will help a bit. Okay, the tanks have moved up closer. I think we can move them even closer now. Put some fear into the enemy. Over here on the right flank. Now I'm not moving these tanks until I know that I have cleared this place. Oh, the enemy retreats! We did it! Do we have losses? Yeah, oh my god, we have six losses already in this unit. The mortars, man. They can be deadly. My infantry is really not that great. It really isn't. Let's watch. Last moments here. Doesn't seem to have a target. Yeah, oh, you are dead. But the battle is over. That was a quick one. So, casualties 58 on my side, 164 on the enemy side. And it really doesn't look good for them. They lost the majority of their force. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the infantry was basically wiped out. They still have some signalers, they still have some heavy weapons, those mortars, but other than that they lost everything else. This is insane. I am so lucky. Let's check the battlefield really quick. Oh my god. The enemy lost so, so, so many men. I guess the artillery here did the majority of... Oh my god, look at all these corpses. Look at this. Do you see that? Okay. I think the friendly artillery that came down caught a whole enemy company basically in its target area oh my god poor guys what did we fight engineer company yeah you are dead yeah you guys had the flamethrowers what are you just infantry most of them dead some mortars have survived the signalers yeah Engineers, flamethrower crew. How many kills did you get? Five. Well, that could have been worse, to be honest. But still, the thing with the flamethrowers is that they cause panic. They are a terrifying weapon. And these were scouts here, so... I wouldn't say bad troops. They are actually quite okay, but they went up against too many enemies, I guess. What else did they bring? Lots of infantry. So it looks to me as if we caught out two battle groups consisting of mostly infantry with some mortars attached to them. And we absolutely destroyed them. This guy, he's still alive. That's good. 
you lost two men. Killed three, so that's something. Lost one man, killed two. Yeah, the the training level of the units is just so poor. You lost two guys. So you guys were engaged very briefly. Yeah, these guys were engaged very briefly with uh, a very depleted enemy force. And still managed to lose so many men. However, they were under mortar fire, so maybe the mortars are what caused the damage. He killed one guy during this battle. Where are the other mortars? Taken out? Running away? I don't see him. Doesn't matter. Okay. That was this battle. It was a short one and a victorious one. Let's go to the operations map and see what we achieved. Battle group routed and battle group defeated. Awesome! This unit, however, is now completely exhausted. They need to get out of here if they don't want to be destroyed. And look at this. More enemy units are standing by to enter the battlefield. With a bit of luck. And I have been incredibly lucky so far. With a bit of luck, we have in the first two turns destroyed the majority of the enemy infantry force. So what remains? I don't know. Support units? Tanks maybe? Vehicles? No idea. But with a bit of luck the infantry force is gone. And that will make this operation so much easier. So, what will happen next time? I don't know yet, but I guess we will find out together. Make sure that you're subscribed to the channel so that you don't miss an episode. Um, also, Please do tell me what do you think of this operation, how can I employ my infantry effectively if they keep breaking, well, they didn't break this time, but they are so ineffective so far because of their training level. What can I do? I'm not sure. Let me know what you think. Until next time, have some great days and goodbye.